I was challenged to a race by my good friend and fellow PokeTuber Shadow Dweller to see which one of us could beat the Pokemon Emerald map randomizer first. The map randomizer completely changes every warp zone in the game. For example, if you were to step into a house, it could take you to a Pokemon Center, a cave, a gym, or even the Elite Four. The goal is to find and beat all eight gym leaders and the Elite Four in order and then take on the champion. The first to enter the Hall of Fame is the winner. So you, want, you want the countdown from Tree? Three, two, one, begin. I wonder uh, who the best starter will be. I'm picking Mudkip. Uh, same. <laughs> I've already wiped. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, wow. You wiped already? <laughs> yeah. My first teleport was a wipe. At first, I decided to play the game normally. We beat May and procured Pokeballs. Otherwise, I'd have to wander around aimlessly until we found a Pokemon. Before I do anything else, we are going to go and find ourselves a Rolts. There we go. Uh, I want that teleport. There we go. Unfortunately, in Pokemon Emerald, Rolts doesn't learn teleport until level 16. With Rolts acquired and Pokeballs in hand, it was time for my first warp. All right, let's see what the Pokemon Center leads. Our first randomize is Jagged Pass. Oh man, so we can't even walk back through where we were before. That's a shame. While there, we caught a level 21 Nummel. I don't want to battle these trains. They're going to be too high level for me. Oh man, I just had my first wipe. That'll just be like the next half hour. It'll just wipe into everything. I did not realize how many doors there was in this game. Okay, and that takes us to... Yo, we found a Pokemon Center. That's nice. Do you have a dock to remember everything? I've got a notepad open in front of me that I've got Gym 1, Gym 2, Gym 3 written down. I'm going to write in where I find the gyms. We quickly found the second gym. Unfortunately, due to the rules of the challenge, we have to take on each of the gym leaders in order. So we continued looking for Gym 1. Oh, oh no. I've accidentally gone into a battle with one of the Elite Four. Oh god. Oh god. The department store. Ooh, the department store gives us a lot of doors. While I was there, I picked up some Ultra Balls. And it's a good thing too, because shortly after leaving the Pokemon, this happened. Okay. I guess it's hard catching a legendary Pokemon at full health. We got it. All right. Having a Lugia so early on in the game was huge. It meant I was no longer wiping to random Pokemon trainers. And it wasn't just Lugia. Ten minutes later, we had another surprising encounter. Wait, what? I have never seen this before. But having a strong Pokemon isn't very helpful when you can't find the first gym. You know what I did find, though? The champion. Oh, okay. Oh. We found Rock Smash, let's go. We can't use Rock Smash though until we've got the third badge. I also learned a valuable lesson. Save regularly. Oh, the bike store. Oh. So, I just got soft locked. Wait, what happened? Well, I, I found the bike store, but I can't leave the bike store. <laughs> Wait, is there no exit in the bike store? There is an exit to the bike store, it's just it's linked to a place that is locked. Oh, and you've no Ralts around, do you? I've got Ralts, but it doesn't know Teleport yet. Oh no, you got grief. Unfortunately, I lost about 15 minutes of save data, and in that time, Shadow Dweller was able to take an early lead. But, fortunately for me, I found the first gym shortly after loading up my previous save. Yo! After one hour of searching, I finally got my first gym badge. So now we can remove the Kecleon that was blocking the path. And now where does the gym lead us to? The Cutting Master's house. And since I knew where the second gym was, I was able to catch up to Shadow Dweller. We're, we're close now, we'll be tired. Although I do see you have a legendary, so... How do you know I have a legendary? I clicked onto uh, Twitch to check my t like the Emerald category and you were at the top of it. So it actually just showed the preview of your stream. Ah, uh, okay. Along the way, I found a bunch of other gyms and Elite Four members. However, finding the third gym was tougher than expected. You haven't found the third gym, have you? No, have you? That's what I mean. I was going to say, like, surely by now we've checked pretty much most warps between the two of us. So I started checking some more doors that were out of the way. Oh. There we go. All right, the family's defeated. This could be good. 
Oh. Uh. This is illegal. I also got stuck a bunch more times. Am I stuck here? I'm stuck here. We're stuck on this island. But luckily, now that my rotes had teleport, I didn't have to reset. In fact, now that we had teleport, I was able to acquire the bike. Oh, we've got the bike now. And it's a good thing too, because it turns out that the bike was required to get to the sixth gym. I'm shocked at how long this Rayquaza has taken. Let's see if I can catch Rayquaza before you. <laughs> I wasted a lot of time trying to catch Rayquaza. It would have been nice to have found the Master Bowl. After hours of searching, and with some help from my viewers in chat, I finally found the third gym. The hard thing is now that, um, neither of us know what the fourth gym is. And five minutes later, I luckily found the fourth gym, putting me in the lead. I found gym four. No, you yeah, this is four. Cool, cool, cool. Unfortunately, my notes for the fifth gym weren't great, and I got kind of lost. I have found gym five. I literally just said if you find gym five before I get gym six, it's probably over. Once I found the fifth gym, it was full steam ahead. We beat our dad. All right, I have the six badge. Badge seven acquired. I have the eighth badge. Oh Jesus, yeah, it's GG. I'm doing a little detour. I want to check a door. It's been bugging me the entire play for where the door leads to. Do you know, once you get Surf, there's this electric power plant called New Morville? Yes. I've been wondering what was behind it. Oh! oh. It's one of the Reggies. I am versing the first member of the Elite Four, Sydney. At this point, I was well in the lead and thought I had won for sure. But that's when disaster struck. I didn't give very good advice for, to myself for the, the third a member of the Elite Four. So I, I actually know don't know how to get to it. <laughs> I wrote down Granite Cave Ladder, which is correct. Yeah. The Granite Cave Ladder leads yeah. to it, but I don't know how to get to that. My notes weren't descriptive enough which caused me to spend the next half an hour aimlessly searching places I had already been, giving Shadow Doyle a chance to catch up. Elite Four number three has been found. You got it, did you? Do we need to find Elite Four number four though? Luckily, it didn't take that long to find Drake and Wallace. I found Drake. I was just about to say I'm just on uh, the third one now, so. I have beaten Wallace. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Five hours, 18 minutes is what my timer says. Shadow Dweller managed to beat Wallace two minutes later. It was a really close race. Damn, that was so close. GG's though. Once again, I'd like to thank my good friend Shadow Dweller for collaborating with me on this video. I'll leave a link to his YouTube and his Twitch channel in the description below. I'd also like to thank Point Crow for making the map randomizer available to everyone. And lastly, I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for making it all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and please consider subscribing for more Pokemon Challenge videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll explain you later.